In this video, we're going to be talking about changes to franchise, watching this little deep dive video that EA just dropped today, and talking a little bit about some of the changes in Madden 24, some of the things I'm most excited about. Now, real quick, if you want to get better before Madden 24 drops, have the best offenses and defenses that you can possibly have day one in Madden 24, join the Patreon today for just $10, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. We're dropping a ton of content over there, preparing everybody for Madden 24, so if you're not not a member yet join for just 10 bucks the link is down in the description and i guarantee it's going to make you a better madden player let's talk about the franchise deep dive and kind of get into some of this content here so let's take a look here again i'm just going to watch along and uh, kind of give you my thoughts as we go 24 delivers on top franchise community requests that provide more control and authenticity throughout the mode Today we'll share details about franchise progression through training camp and minigames, team building updates including improvements to trade and free agency, as well as overall franchise customization. Training camp is one of the most requested features among franchise players and it's officially back, along with new minigames in Madden 24. Okay, the minigames are really, really, really cool. Uh, kind of reminds me of when I first started getting serious about Madden back, I think it was Madden 2005 or 2006. This mini game, the minigame stuff is a lot of fun. So I actually really like to see that they're bringing this back. I also like that they're bringing it back in the context of franchise so that you can uh, develop your team, develop your players through those mini games. Uh, so I'm actually really excited about uh, the mini games. During training camp before the start of each season, you can run players through a series of mini games to improve different positions on your roster. Right. Stay yeah. a step ahead with rushing attack. Enhance your special team skills with field goal and punt accuracy. I definitely need to work on my special team skills. Practice escaping defenders in backfield survival. Fine tune your footwork in wide receiver DB battles. And polish the rest of your skills. A bronze, silver, or gold minigame performance will determine your rewards, which could include XP, skill points, and other team progression items. So this is one of the things that I've heard in the community general feedback has been that I think EA has kind of scrapped a lot of what they were doing uh, from like franchise and superstar KO and all that, or I think it's KO or uh, face of franchise or whatever. Um, and they're kind of taking more of a 2K approach, which is well, it's way overdue, really excited about it. And what they're talking about here is this idea that, you know, bronze, silver or gold kind of being a tiered finish. And I like that. They actually used to have that back when they did mini games. Um, and so really, I, I, I actually really excited about this. I, you know, one thing I will say is I think it would be cool if the mini games concept was applied to ultimate team and that would be your solo challenges. I think that would be awesome. Uh, I'd actually probably do solo challenges if they did that. During the season, mini games are part of your weekly strategy. Nice. So you can continue to progress your focus players throughout the season. I really like that because you really develop your team. Rebuild the trade system with more trade slots and logic tuning. Enhanced free agency and contracts and expanded draft class generators so you can replicate team building moves made by real NFL GMs. Nice. In Madden 24, we've added three more trade slots. So I think it's six. Six trade assets. Yeah, six trade slots. I like that. To help land the perfect players for your scheme. That's cool. The new iteration of free agency also enables more authentic competition with new AI enhancements, like team building that improves franchise tags, fifth year option selections, and free agent negotiation tactics. Redesigned salary cap management aligns with the NFL rulebook and includes the additions of top community requests, such as contract restructuring. Now teams have more tools to use for retaining the core of their team and keep their Super Bowl window open as long as possible. I think franchise one of their bigger focuses for sure. more variety in player pools and address feedback by implementing additional 99 club prospects, multi-talented utility prospects. That's interesting. And generators based on some of your favorite football legends. Six foot nine. In Madden 24, coaches and player personnel now have access to a third talent tree and a variety of new talents. For offensive and defensive coordinators, a new position guru tree elevates a single position with a choice between two skill paths. These improvements give you more ways to find good coaches and to develop specific positions. New customization options like team relocation and commissioner tools give you more control in franchise mode. 
In Madden 24, team relocation has been revamped. Now you can relocate in coach mode at any time once per season, and the move takes effect immediately with new cities and fresh uniform concepts to choose from. Nice, nice. We know our franchise players and commissioners want more control over their leagues, so we're continuing a multi-year journey to deliver more commissioner settings in Madden 24. New commissioner tools like draft class strength settings, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Offensive and defensive play call settings, as well as progression and regression slides. What I like is provide more so. What I like about this stuff is that you can customize and modify it to how you want to play, which will be really, really good for uh, the league aspect of CFMs. And it, what what I think they're trying to do in in, in general in Madden Twenty Four, from what I've seen, is make the game. Uh, at risk of oversimplification, make the game more realistic or feel uh, more realistic, which is part of the uh, a lot of the changes to the movement, um, a lot of the changes to like even the drafts, adding more trade slots, which is really great, and also um, the the uh, they're also giving you an ability to like turn those things off and on. Uh, for example, I think you can turn off and on crossplay. Uh, what you just saw with some of the customization models. So in general, they're trying to make the game feel as realistic as possible. That's why there's a lot more cuts. There's going to be a lot more of like uh, player emotion and stuff like that. All in all, I think this definitely appeals uh, to the sim, the, the more sim community, more franchise oriented uh, community, more realistic community. Hopefully, the biggest thing with all this is if the if the Lee, if the franchise system works, which is kind of what I've said all along, um, it'll be a really good Madden if the buttons work. It'll be a really good Madden if people don't lose their teams, right? Um, those are the, the core functionalities of the game have to be able to work. But a lot of these features they're talking about are really, really interesting and really good. Let's wrap this up here. More ways to set up leagues the See what else I have to say. Play. We're excited about all the franchise updates in Madden 24 that give you more control to build a winning team the way you want. All right. So that's the so that's the deep dive uh, video. Just a couple things real quick. Number one, mini games. Uh, the mini games are a really good feature. Uh, I think it's probably one of the best things they've done uh, in terms of like in terms of. I guess making the grinding portion of the game fun. This is why I'd like to see that be the uh, franchise thing. If they if they move this to franchise, I think this would be really or not franchise. Um, but if this was like solo challenges and they were mini games, I think that'd be really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I really like it. I think the overall the 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 new trade slots are going to be really good. I think the the relocation thing is great. Um, I really, I'm really excited about Madden 24. I think there's gonna be a lot of good things. Hopefully, uh, they take some of the beta feedback. I think, um, you know, the biggest thing that they've got to fix is that the buttons have to work. And also, um, in 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 franchise, for example, what happened last year can never ever happen um, again. But all in all, franchise looks really good. Might even do an online CFM on the channel if you're interested. Let me know in the comments. Um, really think that there's a lot of good stuff coming for Madden 24. Again, uh, all inclusive considering they have to fix the button delay on gameplay. And then franchise has to be able to work uh, all year long. People can't just lose stuff. If they do those two things, um, along with a lot of the changes they're talking about here, should be a really, really good year. So thank you guys for watching the video. And if you want to improve, take your game to the next level, join the Patreon. Ten bucks will get you access to everything in the Patreon, all of the eBooks that will take your game to the next level in Madden. Thanks for watching. You can sign up for the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.